Hey everybody, I'm back. I'm gonna try to hopefully wrap up the story mode uh tonight of Guilty Gear Strive. Uh I figure I probably should get this nipped in the bud. So next time I play, I can just get into learning some characters. I wrapped up uh FF16 so you can watch my complete walkthrough up on the channel uh, Okay, let's get back to the story Tomorrow I'll get uh, that MK1 premium edition pre-ordered so I can get that uh, You know cool combat pack and so forth <clears throat> Anyway, hope everybody uh, is enjoying this. It's pretty, it's a pretty cool story. But uh, yeah, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends. Now let's continue. Time for our in flight announcement. <clears throat> Greetings, passengers. Thank you for choosing Chaos Airlines. This is a direct flight to. Well, let's not spoil the surprise. Allow me to explain the safety equipment on this vessel. In the event of increased visibility, the lamps on your seats will follow. For emergency evacuation, feel free to fling yourself out of the vessel. You will be set straight to heaven. Due to company policy, oxygen masks, life vests, and parachutes are not available. Our crew will attack passengers on set. We ask that you run in high if you hope to survive. In addition, their weapons are custom jobs. So, so, your immortality won't help you here. You'll be best off avoiding combat however you can. Oh, I almost forgot. Your time limit is. Well, you'll find out soon. All right, then. Relax and enjoy the flight. Please join with us. Screwing around like this. What can we do? Would we be better off staying here? Might be smarter than running around aimlessly. Oh, oopsies. One last thing. Be on the lookout for our samurai. He can sense for us, so I wouldn't recommend we be out of the line of places. Samurai. It can't be. Or I guess it could. So he laid bullets out of your play, huh? Your technique is lacking. You rely too heavily on your immortality. I get that a lot. This won't do. You're too powerful. A night mask. That old Danny isn't the only one left, huh? Of 
<laughs> Son in law, go ahead and get it. Wanted to get jacked by the end of your term? <laughs> I'd settle for not dragging you down right now. I want my weapon too. It's in for the old office. Weapon? Burn! some more fuel. Mr. Secretary? Yeah? The White House is currently moving in a straight line. At this rate, it will be directly above me of Phoenix in ten minutes. At the major city. If God forbid, the White House would crash land there. What kind of damage would we be looking at? Given its size, and factoring in the likelihood of explosions and fire, it may well wipe out the entire city. There's not enough time to issue an evacuation order. All we can do is pray that that's not what Chaos wants. Dancing, given that we cannot confirm the president's safety, we may want to start thinking about passing the office on to the VP. No need for that. We know that the president's in there. And so long as the phone stays out of the enemy's hands, we know that he's alive and can. That's precisely why. Pardon me. In the event that chaos would have taken a major city like Neo for Phoenix hostage, do you think the president had made the decision to let them die? Wait, not seriously. Are you suggesting we attack the White House? That's one possibility. How oh, long? Do you even realize what the White House is listening to our president and government itself? Attacking it would be an assault on its staff as well as the heroes and dignitaries in each country. I know exactly what I'm saying. That makes your suggestion all the worse. Are you planning a coup d'etat? If he gets his hands on that pole, he'll be wishing a coup was all we had to deal with. But frankly, I'd rather have neither. However, if something terrible happens as a result of our hesitation, that would be negligence on our part. Surprised. How did you know I was a coffee addict? You just told me. You also just told me you're not a charmophile. What do you intend to do with the home once you have it? Jeez, people these days are always in such a rush to get answers. Think for yourself, for a change. I don't like people who speak to an author as if they understand their work. Hmm. Well then. Right now, Eno is only half of herself. Oh, yeah. Don't worry if you don't get it. That's just how it is. In order to get her other half back, we need the book's power. The end. That's all. So that's what this is. You are trying to give Eno some sort of power. A power that will make her a greater threat than any missile. In any case, I'm going to have to give this back. I don't drink cold coffee. What's this? Are we fighting? That's up to you. Oh, interesting. What's on your mind, bud? Let's make a deal. A deal? There should be an aircraft nearby, ready to save us. Seeing as we haven't yet been boarded, I presume that the White House has an interception system in place. 
I would like you to temporarily disarm that system, and release me and the other hostages in this room. And what do I get out of this? Nothing. Funny. I've never heard of a deal like that before. There's a first time for everything. So bad guys aboard this ship. Which means you're going to lose. That's your fate. I like that word. Fate. That makes two of us. I don't believe in coincidences either. Soul has saved the world many times. So many times that it would seem statistically impossible. And yet, it's the truth. The record should be enough to convince you of that. Fate is simply the most appropriate word I could think of. It clear is going to come out on top yet again. So I give up my hostages and whatever info I may possess. It's the only way to improve your fortune. The lives of a few hostages are worth very little when weighed against the threat of the entire world. If I were to sacrifice everyone here in order to put the smallest little crack in your plan, Soul would see that crack and smash right through it. And what if I blow your head off like that? You lose a hostage and some ammo. That's all. Oh? <laughs> you are good. departure of the rescue craft. The third king called us to confirm that the dignitaries of all countries except the United States are unharmed. He released the hostages? What is chaos thinking? He... He really let us go. We are the main characters in this play. He didn't need us. This may be hard to swallow, but chaos is only here to have fun. Regardless, your quick thinking saved us. I am deeply grateful. I don't deserve your gratitude. I put everyone's lives at risk for my own goal. Then what did you- Chaos made a call from the ship, even though all transmissions were supposed to be restricted. Yes, and? I've been called the King of Groundwork. And I can't stand coffee. It's so lonely in here. I should have kept Daryl at least. <sighs> yep, still bit him. We received a report from the third king. It would seem that Daryl is asleep and jacked the enemy's transmission device. What? Is that true? I wouldn't expect any less. It's a shrewd one. Let's get our talking points together first. Do we have an analysis of the facilities? The Pentagon and staff are working on it as we speak. But they haven't fully analyzed the PEOC area or the steering system yet. And the White House is rude. They passed through Neo Phoenix airspace without incident and are continuing in a straight line. That's a relief. It is odd. If it were me, I would make use of everything at my disposal. If the president can run away until they're out of fuel, that wouldn't benefit chaos. What the wood? Shit. No, Erica. When did you? Friend of yours? Hold on. Chip? As a president of the Egyptian Kingdom? Officially speaking, no. Don't you want the small stuff? I can't even think we should deem it. But it looks like my target ran far out of reach. So that transmission is our lifeline. Dickinson, I promise I'll get him out of here shortly. But before I do, could you spare a minute to hear him out? Shouldn't take long.
First of all, I don't want to make it any deal in this chaos pump. What do you mean? Can you imagine what he's going to use the toad for? I assume he'll be using it as a weapon somehow? That's what someone would demand from you. Or I got refreshed. Either way, it ain't made a statement about it, right? So, the way I see it, no matter what it is chaos wants, he can finish it up bad. Are you so sure? The way how stakes on this course will eventually cross the board. Given your national responsibility and the whereabouts of Tom, you probably should be down first. So why has this guy made any demands? You think he wants us to blow him up? I don't get it. Along with being shot down, he gets rid of the guy protecting the book. Pretty good main solution if he can't die. He can't die? Anji? Forgive me for the sudden interruption. I'll save the introduction for another time. Truth is, I've been pursuing chaos for many years. In the interest of time, I'll be direct. He is that man. Rather, that man was a title created because nobody knew where the blade really lay. But it applied to more than one person. The deal maker and what up? He's a monster who wreaked havoc during the crusade by possessing people in his spirit form. Tell everyone in there that they're on a time limit. Is that a good idea? We know I'm gonna have hostages. The president may attempt to escape. Why not attempt the PEOC now? Why? What do you mean, why? I don't understand, you yeah. Your plan is nothing but detours. For one thing, why am I able to question your actions like this? You wouldn't be a good scriptwriter, you know that? I see. Oh, just one more thing. While you were here, you would make one hell of an actor. Ever see that play about the double agents? You look just like a leading man. I see. So why don't we make you a triple agent? He changes another route. Could we use that? You sure? He's the tallest president we've ever had. Too nice, but you're right. Right, but down is faster.
Huh, don't see that every day. Spirit is type 48. A stupidly big battery with poor energy conversion efficiency. If we set all these off, we can blow chaos away. Along with the whole damn White House. I can give you one better. I just removed the limiter. Now this balloon can take out the White House. If I did it for all of them, we could destroy half the globe. How dangerous are these things? The more zeal they use, the more they can sell them for. Doesn't make your perform any better though. Arms dealers are a trick. <laughs> ah, ah. I had a bad habit of breaking promises with my daughter to focus on work. You wouldn't believe how mad that little girl got. <laughs> Wasn't afraid to cuss me out over it, too. Would she learn that kind of language, I wonder? I swear, my okay. wife would have fainted if she lived to hear. But last time I faked, she sent me a letter. Good luck with work, it said. To be honest, it was a relief. I knew my little girl was just trying to be thoughtful. But even so, it felt like a weight off my shoulders. Hey, that's one fight I don't need to have, I thought. But now, I wish you could have had that talk, even if it was just a fight. Why did I become president? What did I want with that? Sometimes you tear apart your house looking for your key, only for someone else to find them in a second. That ever happen to you? Sure, they might get annoyed or make fun of you. But no matter how things end up, everyone involved can clearly see that you were giving everything you had. Even if your ideal future had wheels attached, all you could do would be to push or pull it. No way! Are you trying to chew me up? Dear Maker? Frederick? Did you make this call? No, it seems to be some sort of special open channel. Is the president there? Dickinson? Oh, thank God you're safe. How do you restore the communication lines? That's not important right now. First, I have some good news. The hostages have been safely evacuated. All thanks to the third king. Really? Wily bastard. But please, Mr. President, tell us how you're doing. Our pursuers have gotten aggressive. It's getting difficult to stay hidden. I see. Alright. Please listen closely to what I'm about to say. The White House is currently en route to the border of old Mexico. What? Right now the White House is essentially a flying bomb. I've made no doubt that it'll be shot down if there's a neighboring country's airspace. Not only will we lose the symbol of our country, but we'll have no control over who ends up at the top. We need to ship down the White House itself before that happens. How much time do we have? That it cost me about 50 minutes. He's written the hell out of this script. Knowing what we know, we can either surrender or destroy the POC after it's been shot down. Either way, chaos comes out on top. Hmm. Did you know about him being a mortal soul? Yup. Spares me an explanation. Even if you're running the chaos, we are not engaged. We're looking for a way to get you out of there, so just hang on until we find one. You really think there's a way out? Considering the White House is an aircraft, there's got to be escape pods. Any idea where? The PVO sheet, most likely. It's nothing but locks within locks. A regular ventilation control. And the codes are in a language I've never seen. Sounds like we're in for a long 15 minutes. Got any other info on chaos? We do! Uh... Chip? Hey! This is just my gut feeling, so... Don't get your hopes up. Better than nothing. 
a giant samurai guy up in too? Yes. And he's a pain in the ass. I'm not sure. But I think he knows Chaos' is weakness. He what? I just blow his smoke. Listen, I saw Chaos too. He defies all common sense. The guy's just in this for the thrill, and he's intentionally giving everyone a chance to kill him. So you're saying I need to get the samurai to talk? I have followed the will of my teacher for long enough. I'll fight too. But I'm not sure if I can pull it off. But I'll try to take control of the aircraft. I'll buy you some time. Focus on finding the escape pods. Action. on me. Can I make up the difference? <laughs> oh, Daryl! You should have told me you were an actor. This isn't how I imagined our reunion. What in the world happened to you? Where have you been? Why are you trying to grasp Eno? Oh. I remember teaching you to ask one question at a time. Well, I've got one for you too. You know the White House is even bigger secret, don't you? What was your plan? You taught me not to answer a question with a question. What changed you? Humans can't stay sane in isolation. Gave me a few epiphanies, though. What do you think a sane person is, anyway? Someone who wouldn't try to take over the White House. Should I be proud you've learned to banter? Let me rephrase the question. Say someone is locked up in a small, pure white room with no doors or windows. For a year, no, maybe even longer. They've got food, drink, no illnesses or injuries. They can even make calls to whomever they'd like. A voice speaks to them from above. You must not leave. No one else can, so you mustn't either. Then one day a door to the outside suddenly appears. And now my question. What would a sane person do? The way I see it. This era is making a ton of these white moments. There's certainly a better solution than breaking down the walls. You've learned to talk back. You're not the only one who's changed. I've become... The Devil. You're... 
the universe's will. A robot of your own creation. I became human so that I might understand humanity. My mission was the realization of eternal joy for all mankind. But I made the wrong choice and failed to see my mission through. Oh yeah, that sounds right. But were you always this nice? The poison within me left when you did. Poison, really? You are unbearably pure. You know the other half is formed of mankind's wishes. Undiluted spirit. Both the evil that denies our existence and the justice that affirms our lives. That and writhing, unthinking malice. Tell me, then. Have you discovered your path? There's no answer to that. Mankind is not a collective of humans, but just one single element of humanity. And how the definition of human is easy at best. So you choose to agitate the situation after all. If Eno transcends the concept of time, she could become the creator of the world. We may be consumed by a paradox. Of course, that's the nature we come to it. I'm not here to win or lose. I'm just here to be here. What? <laughs> this power. It can't be. Your Eno's other half. You're so perceptive with everything but relationships. But why? If you do this, you'll disappear in the end too. Why would you go so hard to help Eno? You still don't get it, do you? You still think me and Eno is your enemies. I thought I'd tell you to be open-minded. Eno was born in a white room, and she's been looking for days at this whole time. She to be human by her feelings, trying to blog her out. She shall slash her human dread. We do the eternal insatiable thirst, affirming ourselves for the time. When everything became possible, we lost our ability to accomplish anything. But she still says she wants a future. If this world holds value, I will show her at all costs! <laughs> Is it normal to feel earthquakes in the sky? Only when you're hungover. In this case, though, that's our course changing. Looks like chaos got the better of him. Damn it! <laughs> Stayed put for too long. So, you move and burn takes up both. Don't get too close. It would seem his right arm is a weapon. I know. Stay there, as long as you can open your arms. So, huh? <sighs> Brown ass, don't get burnt up hands. Football! You're going to save the world! Huh? Ah! 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 Ah!
fires crossbows firing like machine guns. Okay. I am chaos. I'm a secret service agent, can you tell? You what? No what? What are you doing? I've been telling you this entire time, Mr. Carter. This entire time? Then why did you find yourself so safe? You know what they say, save the best for last. What? Forgive my language, Mr. President. But I'm about to make sure this son of a bitch can never fight again. You and Sam should run. reached its climax. is controlled by old air technology. Am I wrong? I suppose this is no time to be keeping secrets. It's true. Thought so. Gabriel, are you listening? Yes. Those Matriotian boats, they are an unknown language. We 
just can't translate documents that old. If I can bring the notes back in a letter than numbers, should we leave one up to anyone who is out? Alright, give me a moment. This is... Machine code. It's rules. What did it say? We don't have it all converted yet. It wasn't a video game. Once we're out of the park, we won't have the air pressure shield to protect us. We're going to have to calculate the weight resistance. Hmm? Calculate, he says. You're not just testing your back? That's all I've been able to count on today. Hey, 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 hey! It's been activated. What's next? These are to be using an electric with a gear maker. Our only option is to force our way through. Once it's within five clicks of the border, we will shoot down a lighthouse whether you're evacuated or not. We may be able to buy you some time if our aircraft makes it to you.
about this guy no he reminds me of that uh, machine guy from one punch man in season one it's kind of like the like iron man guy that general thought was going to help but he only failed at stopping a meteor then pissed off that's what he reminds me of say this much. Not one of us has ever performed a miracle that changed the world. But so bad guy has. Down. 
proceed with his kick. Impact stab me just to lose again. You shut the hell up for a second. Man, it feels like you know, Die Hard mixed with uh, with Olympus has fallen right now. Opening locks. spend more time together. But that will have to wait. What the hell? Broderick! That was a sweet move. That's one sturdy ass door. Where can I get one? We just received one from the White House. It would seem that the DEOC locked with chaos inside. The kid? And the president. Say, sir. Everyone is. We regained control of the White House. Yeah! Looks like they're still breathing. Will their faces return to normal? Hey, I'm just glad they were set to explode once the mind control ended. <laughs> I've had about enough of chaos and straps. Mr. President, do you have a set destination in mind? Not at all. 
doesn't matter to me how long it takes to get there, so long as I can get my feet back on solid ground. Something wrong. This craft doesn't have enough power to take off again. I'd ask you all to take rescue crafts away from here. Also, can you not touch back down? Or do you not want to? Please believe me. I didn't want to do this this way. But you will have to suffice as my witness. What the? Witness? Mr. President, Tiernanog was not designed for air travel. The true purpose of this craft was interplanetary transportation. Planetary? Correct. When things were looking bleak during the Crusades, some senior officials planned to abandon our planet. So that's what Project Tiernanog was all about. The space colony it was intended to dock at is already complete. It has enough supplies to take care of 400 people for 120 years. I... I intend to take the dome there. But, but why? No one there will seek or desire the dome. I can discard it at last. Then we can just stuff the dome with space suit. There's no need for you to go with it. I appreciate your kindness. However... forgotten my other goal. <laughs> Get rid of soul. Whoa. Hold on, now, sir. That was just a hypothetical, was it? You promised you'd give me a proper explanation. As with the tome, our world has no need for his power. Bullshit. Tell me, who is soul gonna hurt? Himself. Huh? What if I said it was none of your damn business? <laughs> I may craft a persuasive dissertation, but I've always had trouble choosing words others could understand. So I took a lesson from you and chose to fight. Let's settle things between us right now. Uh, sure. Have a long day. I was all bummed to find Magic Wheeler today anyway. You're right. I've always wanted things my way. Even when I planted this divine seed in you. But now, I'll correct that mistake. If you don't want that, then don't hesitate. Shake off my hand. And kill me. Chaos is still inside. Seems to be unconscious. It might be a trap. Approach with caution. This is an otherworldly being, and you think you can take it down with just your guns. And on top of that, it's only like what? One squad of you? Instead of like a whole freaking squadron or army? Satisfied. So, 
Are you all right? You tell me. It can't be. But are you human? Not entirely, I don't think. My greatest mistake was robbing Frederick and Arya of the time they could have spent together. However, now knowing more we'll rely on you as a weapon, more as a hero. I should have done this a hundred years ago. <sighs> Mr. President, sole bad guy, the hero, has perished. This is Frederick Bolsara, an ordinary man. <sighs> and you wanted the whole world to acknowledge that. Nobody told me there'd be an on-board performance. <laughs> you really do need to get better at expressing yourself. Gary! No. Asuka. Let me ask you something. Is this your accumulation of goodwill? Where did you hear that phrase? From Eno. No, that's something else altogether. Promise you won't laugh? Or leave it funner than your space vacation idea. <laughs> radio. I wanted a radio show. Sorry, what? People want the most beautiful fruit, so we spend our lives looking at us. We fail to notice that our baskets are full, and that fruit is falling to the ground and bruising. The people who have realized this have tried finding ways to help. Both the Conclave and Ariel's were searching for something. And in their search, they created opposition and conflict. We often misunderstand each other's feelings. We don't always agree. But we can't reject the other's entirety. What we lack is accurate knowledge. Accurate knowledge? 68,502,011 children, all under 14 years old, are being used for labor at this very moment. Orphans, slums, Massacres, diseases, child soldiers, war. In the places we can see from up here in the sky, and across the borders we can only see on the map. Every day, people continue to be born. The drone teaches about the nature of our world. What we need is not a call to action, but numbers. Just numbers, free from ideology, profit, and value. Clear numbers. The dome grants the right to knowledge, and I simply observe those numbers. In the hopes that one day, I can call them the accumulation of goodwill. Is that what you meant? By creating world peace? Doesn't exactly sound like it's gonna top the shards. Surveillance cameras, I got? So, why? I'd appreciate it if you could tell me where my boss is napping. I can't tell who's who. Will I ever recover from all this? I certainly hope so. Because I really don't want to hold on to that stupid badge as a memento. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, is that badge you mentioned a cartoon star by any chance? How did you guess? Right, just hold on a moment. Hey, rewind that real quick. Right away, sir. There. What happened? Was it the security team's jacket he stole? No, it was Udo's. Chaos is able to freely manipulate people's appearances. The newbies' badges don't look nearly oh, that good. Chaos is still inside the White House. Dun dun dun. Ah, 
Bilbico. My favorite. But, you see, if you let it sit, the water and syrup separate. Here, see? People are just like Bilbico. You see, the syrup is the old human desire. And the water is their survival instinct as living beings. Just plain old water would be bland, and the syrup on its own would be too thick. But when you mix them together... How he's drinking through that mask? Perfection. That's just how humans are. No! It can't be yes or me, though. I'm one hundred percent pure, undiluted syrup, and I'm not here for my own sake. I'm here. Because something would let the cup fill up with water. Chaos. <laughs> I'm here. Just in time for the grand finale. And everybody on this planet can play a part in our special show. <laughs> what the hell is going on? There's no way you believe me when I say this. I'm really hoping you guys win. Because I'd like to see you again. Looks like I'm an even shittier creature than I was before. Imps don't lie. Sing you happy birthday? <sighs> Nothing happy about it. God's all done with creation now. <sighs> you lost your powers? Yeah, a couple pounds too. Too bad. I was looking forward to one final showdown. <sighs> Guess it doesn't really matter anymore. Hang on. Where's that damn smirk of yours? You finally became a god, shouldn't you be thrilled? 
What does this view look like to you? What's something you don't like? Milk. Then milk. Even if I were to knock you down from here, you wouldn't die. <laughs> to me, it looks like a one. It's all zeros and ones. That's just what it is. There used to be more zeros. That balance would create twos and threes. A beautiful mixture of discord and harmony. But now, my world consists of only ones. And you plan to make everything zeros? That would be pointless. A butterfly can't turn back into a caterpillar. You don't need Asuka, do you? Didn't hurt to hold onto the town. But in a gossip way, he dies. If you get him back, I'll let you go. Huh. Well, aren't you a stud? <laughs> what, Frederick? You don't stand a chance against her! Yeah, I wouldn't bet on that. This is a trick. It isn't right. If the moon were that close, our planet would be thrown into turmoil. Nice work, boy genius. You're right, this is a little trick. But the moon really is right there. Cities aren't being crushed by waves. The ocean isn't boiling, and the moon didn't break the Earth's atmosphere. Because I'm preventing it. You see, kill me and the trick all falls apart. So we can't attack you. <laughs> kind of bullshit, huh? In my world, there's no more winning or losing. What is Eno planning? I have the slightest idea. But I know we cannot let her see it through. I'm not sure anywhere could be considered safe anymore. But you should get away from here immediately. You're gonna fight that thing? I don't have the courage to throw aside my hope. So I ask that you please stand back. I'm the only one who can stop Eno now. That's why I'm asking. Thanks to you, I started to understand. Like Eno said, I think I felt stifled in a world with no place for me. I may not fully feel them, but I do have emotions. But that's exactly why I never wanted anyone to notice. What do you mean? I'm in love with Frederick. And that isn't the future he was. So I thought I'd do what he recommended. And get one last look at his face. I won't let it be the last. Nino has already become all powerful. Only all powerful?
for the sake of the wrong. An observatory in Finland has a Yeah, uh, music, copyright, I'm assuming. Once this is over, all of mankind will gain the same power I have. They will see everything I can. A world of freedom and equality. A world without hope. However, any living organism, when faced with the risk of extinction, gains an opportunity for evolution. If mankind's potential is infinite, I want to know the future that awaits us. Even a perfect being could not necessarily create a perfect world. Then I'll leave it to the next generation. I see. Magic is the power to bend the rules of nature. If all of mankind were to have unfettered access to power on the scale of emails, it would kill this world and birth a new universe. And I'll repeat the process over and over as many times as it takes until I found my answer. Now I feel silly for getting so anxious. That does indeed sound like the work of a god. However... Do you truly know yourself well enough to look for weaknesses of all mankind? The only things that could stop me now are the flame of corruption or the scales of Juno. And they are long gone. <laughs> Not quite. Slight though it may be. It's right here. Dragon install.
guess it's time for me to go. I wish I could have seen Zeo with you. So long. you credit for one thing. You sent a little chill down my spine there. <laughs> hmm? After all you've done, is this really what you want? I was wondering about this guy. What? Now you want to stand in my way? No, I'm not here for a fight. How you get up there, though? Then why are you here? Cross, violent. A loner who isn't afraid of anything? You mean me? Actually, I was talking about Soul. But yeah, you two are really similar. Just with one key difference. I'm not Soul. You don't know what you want. <sighs> you once told me that people have to find their own right to keep living. I think they have to find their happiness too. We pick up a memory to take with us as we go. We call the knowledge into ourselves. That we were happy before, even if only once. So that we can remember it at the end of our lives. I'd like to see if you can remember yours. If I did, it did make you smile. Seeing the look in your eyes now, it makes me miss your sadistic look of joy when you say you asked for this. Well, you and I have both been building our fictional worlds. Today one of them comes to a close. It's, it's going to be yours, Eno. Jacko? <laughs> Jackio? So the band's all here. <sighs> so it was a question of loss and gain after all. Which should disappear? The world or me? It can't be. You! Hold on, Jackie. What do you mean, disappear? I can stop Eno at the cost of my own existence. That's my role. It's only natural. But. Thank you for your concern. How can that be natural? There's no gain in that. Does my lack of emotions deny me the right to save the world? Isn't that what you were trying to do? Uh, uh. How does he sleep? Well, I guess he doesn't sleep. Well, but would she have to lay down? How can she do that with a broken halo on her head? Don't. Don't screw with me. You, you cannot drive me away. This is the end. This is the first thing I ever decided on for myself. I'm sorry, I think. I'm sorry that I couldn't live up to your expectations. <laughs> Even if I'm just artificial, disappearing is. Scary, huh? God damn it. 
I have money. No good reason for you to disappear on me. No good reason? I decided. When you showed up as a part of Arya, that no matter who you really are, no matter what happens, I would always stay by your side. You decided. You're going to drag all of humanity down with your selfish choice? Who are you to say I'm dragging them down? The planet, the universe, the future. Who gets to determine the value of humanity? <laughs> Isn't it selfish of mankind to survive in the first place? You're so strong. You really are. The only things I can accept are my feelings for you. That's why... It's not a contradiction for me to save the world. Even if it's one I only just discovered. But you want to save Arya, don't you? There's... I... I can't do it. Arya isn't coming back. But there's nothing else I can do. Nowhere else I belong. Have I ever called you, Arya? If Arya doesn't come back, that's her choice. But, Jacko, Arya wanted you to stay here. Like that hat of hers. So, even if it means the end of the world, I'm not gonna let you go. Even if it means... The end of the world? Now do you finally see? This is the world we're supposed to save. If I... If I... Can be by his side? I don't care if the world ends. That sounds pretty dumb. No, I guess you can't even comprehend what 100% even means to me now. It doesn't mean shit to anyone but you. 
Ich kann schon Taiwan drohen. Ja, Rage. As long as the energy from this hill pass last, it will outplay an infinite amount of power. You have a shitty memory, don't you? That garbage doesn't work on me. I see. So intentionally took a critical hit. You know, as a match creator, a martial magic creator will continue to use the same method so long as it works. Was this how you planned to be the maker? Tell me, Mr. President. What do my eyes look like to you? The eyes of someone with nothing. Someone in the water. Someone seeking dignity. Your eyes are all of those. And at the same time, none of them. Some tiny moment. Frederick Balsara. If you can prove that to me, I'll stroke you, big tree. So, you know his regenerative capabilities. No shit. If I can't hit a weak point, she'll be right. It'll all be for nothing. Like I said, I'll put up the best fight I can. That's all I ask. And I'll do the same. There's no way you ever need a weapon like that. So why the hell did you make it? 
has ever bored me. <sighs> I don't really care about utility, or even the greater good. Like you said, I'm a goddamn idiot. Ugh. Many things you value will pile up like a stack of unread books. Even if one of the books in the stack could impact you enough to change your life. You're gonna have a whole new stack before you ever get around to it. Huh. <sighs> That's why you need something that you can keep working on without getting bored of it. There are too many distractions out there otherwise. Maybe you had something like that too. <laughs> oh, Axel. You were right all along. I had everything. Both good and bad. But I can't remember any of it now. Even though so much must have happened. Did I somehow just forget? Wait! Wait! Drinking tea! And we looked up! And the beautiful sight together, right? I was scared as hell of you! But you went down anyway! You! You made me so happy! Please, remember something! Anything! Why are you crying? I clock it! Anything out with tears! <sighs> Beautiful blonde hair. Like a woman's. Five years later. Fast food, really? Hmm. When they rebuild the White House, we'll be far away from this place. I look up at the sky every day. But from here, it looks completely different. Chip returned to his country. You didn't manage to head up him then. We did a lot of sightseeing together, but fools always like to follow their own maps. <laughs> we finished compiling the data from each country, as well as drafting up non disclosure agreements. After the funeral this evening, this incident should be finally settled. A 21-gun salute to send our hero off to heaven. I hope that today we can all look up at the same sky. I imagine the other countries will be scratching their heads over these incident reports. In the end... What was the future you know wanted? You should know. Or rather... We both should. Hmm? The one thing that can offer us fulfillment. She was never able to find her own. What she lacked wasn't a past, nor a future. The better the present. The past and the future, their hope and their ambitions. None of that means anything without the present. People only ever look at themselves. Yet they can never fully know themselves. It's a hard truth. And I know it all too well.
This might be the final chapter. Hours. Is this one damn place filled with gas? <sighs> There's a bookstore in the town 40 kilometers from here. Go find a book to teach you some damn manners. Now I get why this place is so run down. <sighs> Sounds like the words of someone with no taste. You see that line from one of your precious books? Can't imagine that one got second printing. Book size. 201Z. In wheel type with five pins. 201Z. Where'd you come from? How'd you even get here without a jacket? Not fashionista, huh? It'd be a waste to cover this shirt with a jacket. This place is 28 hours away from the city by car, see? It takes 28 hours for the latest train to get here. Spirit Toss Type 48, right? What about it? I knew it. I knew you'd have one. Hey, you don't need your 201Z. Have you heard the rumors? They don't make the Spirit Toss anymore. You can't get them anywhere. They say it's because the American government doubted them all. Then, out of love and anti-war sentiment, the president buried them all in the grave of a certain hero. After a while, one young man came to that grave. He refused to accept his hero's death. So, even knowing how crazy it was, he dug that grave up and what he found was an empty coffin, no body. No spirit toss. And whose grave was that? Ah, uh, I think you tell me you never heard of him. <laughs> I'm gonna head home for today. For today, you planning on coming back? Well, I've got to go buy that book on manners. A country bumpkin like you may not realize, but it takes a lot of passion for a sea boy to come all the way out here with no deck. I'm not selling you a spirit toss, got it? I know. You're gonna use it for what you've got back there, yeah? The hell are you after? I don't really know. I. I guess I want to be friends. <laughs> Dead end of 4 p.m. Huh? Those are our business hours. Giving you my unfair way of life. You asked for this. <laughs> I don't get it, but that's what she told me to say. Are you. really Axel?
What is peace? Some people know. Everyone wants an answer to that question. Why? It's simple. Because no one's ever seen it before. Even if there's no misery before our eyes, we know that it's out there, somewhere. There are hills and valleys. But that doesn't mean we should flatten it all out. Mechanisms that simply prevent inequality take sin away from mankind. We belong neither in rooms nor shut in buildings. We belong somewhere peaceful. Peace comes to be when people forgive each other's sins. When all sin vanishes from the world. That's when peace will vanish too. And the gears that give mankind meaning will stop turning. Is peace just a dream then? It's not that simple. Just as every human face is different, so too are the worlds we all dream of. Some people are just incompatible. But if there's one thing I know for sure, there's no need to aim for a perfect world. As long as you keep trying, that world will eventually come to you. What matters is that before that happens, he's gonna bang that robot. You know the meaning of it. This is never a halo. actually became a radio personality that's pretty cool Okay, that was the whole complete story of Guilty Gear Strive. That was fun. All right, I just needed to make sure I wrap this up. Um, got a new review. Well, two uh, reviews for tomorrow. Uh, one of which is the. Uh, uh, season one of the my adventures with superman look out for that tomorrow evening but um yeah uh now i got the story more all out the way and we can get like uh some time into learning uh some characters i'm gonna probably start off with Eno. i don't really i like soul bad guy but his game mechanic is like you know it's not my speed i wish it was uh but um oh and i like jacko too but um yeah anyway i will see you guys tomorrow have a good night uh, and look forward to uh mk1 pretty soon as well anyway see y'all later take care